Mike. Thanks again, Joe, and thanks again for everybody who's been uh, watching and who's here live. I want to make U.S. soccer better. I said this before. We have made great strides in U.S. soccer over the last 20 years, but in a lot of areas we've lagged behind, and there is an increasing fracture within the landscape at all levels. So let me just talk briefly about some of the specifics, some of which we've covered, and I won't retread that, but uh, some we haven't, of how we're going to do that. There are three key initiatives that I've been talking about from the beginning. You can see on my website. First is the decision-making process. It has to be inclusive, merit-based, and transparent. We need to bring in the vast human resources in this country. We need to bring in people who are being affected by decisions. No matter how smart one person is, he or she cannot possibly know everything that people at the state associations know, having done this for years. We need to consider all these perspectives. Number two, something we haven't talked about, is equality in women's soccer. And let me be clear about this. At first of all, I'm actually puzzled. It, it, it's stunning to me that we're still even talking about this. This is actually an issue. So let me be clear. If the men are not playing on substandard fields, the women will not be playing on substandard fields either. And I don't think either should be. If the men are traveling in first class, the women are going to travel in first class. And when it comes to pay, if both sides decide they want the same pay structure, there's going to be equality. If one side decides that they want a different pay structure because it suits them better, there will be equivalence. But one way or another, there's going to be equity. And I've only heard one argument as to why there isn't, and that's revenue. Well, let me just say three quick things about that. Number one, it's completely irrelevant. Whether or not there's more revenue on the men's side than the women's side has nothing to do with the mission and spirit of U.S. soccer and has no bearing on the equity that needs to be in place. Number two, it's actually probably misleading, especially in a cycle like this where the men didn't make the World Cup and the women did. Revenue on the women's side is probably going to be even greater. And number three, when you look, last year, if you look at the financials of U.S. soccer, they spent $80 million on the national teams. To actually achieve equity here, you're talking about a single percentage, a single digit percentage of that to fix this. It's, it's, it's actually stunning that we're even still talking about this. The third thing that I've talked about is my initiative is reducing the cost barriers. And again, on the playing side for the youth and the coaching side. And that gets into fixing and helping to fix player development and the state structures, which I, again, need to be done on a state-by-state -state basis. There is not going to be a one-size-fits-all solution in this country. U.S. soccer, need, there, can be, there needs to be integration. There can be competition, right? In this country, somebody can say, I think I can do a league a little better, so I'm going to try it. But there needs to be integration. We need to be rowing in the same direction. And the U.S. soccer needs to make sure that rules are implemented fairly and uniformly. And there is clarity. Whatever the structure is, there is clarity for the consumer. I think I'm uniquely situated to do this. It's going to take intelligence, fairness, and open-mindedness, and it's going to be hard. We need to be prepared, diligent, and we're going to have to have perseverance, quite frankly, stamina. You have to have the ability to bring people together to sit and synthesize in real time different facts, different opinions, different perspectives, and articulate persuasively a path forward that everyone will buy into and understand it's in their best interest. 30 seconds. I've been doing this for 17 years at the highest level. There's no magic talisman. If there were, I'd be out of a job. I brought executives into a room from the biggest companies with high stakes, better company cases at stake. You need the business side and you need the soccer side. I've played, I've coached, I've managed at the youth, collegiate, and professional levels. I can bridge the soccer and business side, and I've done it at extremely high levels. And so I ask for your vote, and together we are going to make U.S. soccer better. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.